Alright, what's up Smashers? It's Trev. Guess what? There's a big wad going on right now. I'm gonna just check this out. Look at all these people. We got you see that dude right over there? That guy right there? Yeah. Chucked up 315 like it was nothing. Pretty cool. Front squat, strong dude named Christian. He's an up-and-comer for sure. We're gonna be talking about uh, hip rotation and how it mutes the pelvis, shuts down your gait, turns off your glutes, wrecks your hamstrings, smashes out your low back, you know, all kinds of super bad stuff. So I'm gonna show you how to clean up that. Uh, sounds funny, but we're gonna clean up your groin. How's that sound? That sounds hilarious, huh? So we're gonna talk about how to open up that internal and external rotation on the hip and then how to free up those adductors so you can regain, regain a lot of that power when you drive through your squat and uh, when you're coming up out of the bottom of the hole. And then when you look at a sprint, um, when you're exploding out of the stocks or you're, uh, you're running down the track or even if you're just running away from a big giant grizzly bear, um, you need to be able to engage those glutes. And what happens is when you lose the internal rotation of the hip and that joint capsule starts to thicken up, you can't get your stride right. So let me put this down so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. What happens is when you lose your stride, I'll put it just like this so you can see I'm tucked off in the corner right now just because talking over here so you can see me. So when you lose your stride, you, you can't get your gait wide. So what happens is normally you can have a really wide stride and you can get really, really wide and there's no problem. But if you look at your back leg, what happens when you go wide is your back foot turns in. This is actually an internal rotation. So that allows your glute to fire. The problem is, is when it's not, it kicks out like this and you start running like this. But the same thing happens when you drop into the bottom of your squat, you can't get into that squat and push those knees out. What happens is those knees start to come together because you don't have that internal rotation. But the joint thickens up and you start to shoot your knees forward. And now you become a person that squats with your quads, then your low back and then your quads again, instead of engaging the glutes, which are what? Super turbo strong muscles. So I'm going to show you a couple of things. Four things. We're going to open up those uh, the uh, groin. Sounds terrible, doesn't it? Open up the groin. We're going to make everything work right. So your squats are super savage badass. So here's what we're going to do. I'm tucked off in the corner, like I said. So I'm going to try and make you be able to see this as best as I can. See if I can do this without causing all kinds of grief on my video. So we'll put you right here. We're going to grab a band. So the band I have in my hand here, okay? So I'm gonna show you this. So I've got the band all the way now. You're gonna take the band, you're gonna cinch it up in your groin, just like this. Oh, this is gonna be horrible. So I've got the band up on the pull-up rig and it's cinching up in the, in the back of the hip. Now this is something really important. You gotta to remember to engage your glutes when you do this. You can see I got the 45 over here. Oh yeah. You don't have to roll it across your tummy, but what I'm going to show you is if you can still see me, I had a low battery indicator just come on. You can still see me. Yeah, it's still recording. Look at that. Way to go Steve Jobs in your iPhone. So you're going to take this, you're going to roll it up onto you like, oh, this is so horrible. I really don't want to do this. Oh, and you're going to keep these. So you can see my leg is bent here. My leg is bent there. I'm in a butterfly position. This is dragging me up towards the top of the rig. This is pushing me down into the floor and now I wanna make sure my glutes are engaged. And as soon as you engage your glutes, this is so diabolical. And you're gonna hang out here like this. This is gonna open up the groin. What you're gonna do with this leg is you're gonna floss it back and forth. You can add tension. You can even have somebody stand on this if you want, if your leg wants to kick up like this. That's number one. Yeah, it's super horrible, but we're not done. We're gonna get out of this thing use it to stand up oh we got so much more all right number two we're gonna do what's called the. it's like a, a hero stretch right so we're gonna grab this take this kick it all the way over like this so I can use it as a prop rod so you can see I've got two blocks here so what you're gonna do is you're gonna use these to sit on now if you're super mobile and you've got ninja like flexibility you're gonna be able to turn those legs out as much as possible so you can flatten them out and you can sit right on the ground. I can't do that. I love that there's music in the background. This is why it's badass to be a CrossFit. So you're gonna kick your feet out. You notice I'm sitting on the blocks. My feet are turned all the way out and I'm gonna sit as high as I can. This is gonna externally or internally rotate the femur and I'm gonna camp out like this for how long? Two minutes, baby. So it looks right now like I'm taking a pee. So I'm gonna show you. Oh, this is horrible to come out of. This is one of those stretches that when you come out of it, come out slow. 
I'm a two block guy, some of you might be a one, some of you might be a three, some of you might be a nine. But it's really important to use a block so you can sit up really tall and straight. I gave this to a buddy of mine, Kyle Zazaya, or Zazaya, and he had to use three blocks. So there you are, you can see what I'm doing. I got these turned all the way out, I'm sitting as high as I can, and I'm internally rotating the femur, peeling away that joint. Two minutes, baby, two minutes. Oh. Isn't that just diabolical? Now, when you lose the internal rotation of that, uh, of that groin, this is how two things happen. One, you pull your groin, and two, your hamstrings take the brunt of the load because your glutes are turned off. We all want to turn on our glutes. So I'm going to move this. I'm going to show you what we do. You're going to find a rig like this. Super easy. You're going to get up beside the rig, and you're just going to kick your leg up like this. That's all you're going to do. How easy is that? I'm gonna hang out like this and show a little leg. Hide a little leg, whatever you want, it doesn't matter. But this is the important part. This leg, totally locked out. And I'm gonna hang out like this. I'm already at 90 degrees here. Hang out for how long? Two minutes. Do the other side. Don't just do one side. Do the other side. All right, that's number three. Number four is, we're gonna peel away that high hip. You see, I got the lacrosse ball here. This is where it gets super awful, sorry guys. But it's super important. God, I freaking love this music, by the way. You're gonna get into a figure four. You can see right now, basic figure four. Take the lacrosse ball, tuck it in under here. You're gonna make sure you're on the high portion of the hip, otherwise you're gonna mash that sciatic notch. And then you're just gonna grind away on that lacrosse ball, hitting all those hot spots, like that one right there. Ooh, that's abysmal. Oh, it's like I, I kinda wanna, it's like the good hurt, right? Two minutes, right? Mash away and then when you're done, pop off that thing. You just freed up your groin. Groin freedom. That's kind of cool, huh? So we've recovered internal rotation, we've recovered external rotation with the figure four, peeled away that hamstring, and then gotten that, uh, that adductor all peeled away, all four of them, even that, uh, that gracilis, peeled all that open by having that weight on there. So when that weight's sitting down on there, that's the important part, because it's gonna keep that leg on the ground. Hey, I'm Trev, Smashworks. Have an awesome day, I'll see you tomorrow.